Let's bring in our panel now to debate what is happening in our country with the migrants. Joining me right now, GOP strategist Eric Mitchell and Democratic strategist Jan Ronis. Welcome in. Good to have you both with me. A pleasure. Thank you. All right. So let's talk about this immigration. Obviously, it's a focus today. Trump was speaking to voters in Michigan before he speaks in Green Bay, Wisconsin. This is what he said uh, within the past hour or so about the border crisis. It's a sad shame. Under crooked Joe Biden, every state is now a border state. Every town is now a border town because Joe Biden has brought the carnage and chaos and killing from all over the world and dumped it straight into our backyards. All right. So, Jan, how does Joe Biden combat this? Obviously, not saying Lake and Riley um, was probably not the smartest strategy for the campaign. Well, there's no question that a president, former President Trump is going to politicize this for all he can. I mean, it's become a hot button issue. That's how he got elected the first time. The fact of the matter is that this country has seen a surge in immigration, but every nation um, in, in Europe uh, and in Northern Africa is facing the same situation. There's a mass uh, mis relocation of people all over the globe related to climate change and crime and, and corrupt governments, things of that nature. So that none of this is unique to the United States. It's something we have to deal with. We've dealt with it in the past well, and we'll deal with it th this time as well. Americans may say it's not hot button. It's a national security issue. And even in a blue city like Denver, tens of millions of dollars. And finally, they've reached a breaking point. And this is a Democratic run city. You have Mayor Johnson saying, we'll, we'll tell you to go anywhere. Do you want to go to Canada? Do you want to go to New York, Chicago? Uh, Eric, I'll let you take the lead over some of the comments. Jan said that this is just some global phenomenon happening. But, you know, this is an amazing global phenomenon that they're putting them on air in airports here in our country, in America. Talk to an airlines pilot undocumented without ID, barely goes from getting patted down with made up names being flown to blue states or throughout our country endangering Americans this is beyond this is national security climate change then why was the last report that was released yesterday saying a majority of them are military age males these aren't families seeking asylum or going geez global warming down in Guatemala is affecting me they're bringing fentanyl crime they're murdering right and left and they're coming here illegally and we're supposed to feel bad that we're supposed to eject them from our country there is a legal way to cross and I think that's the separation here. Republicans so, are deemed in this corner of saying we're against immigration. We're not. We want you to do it legally, well, the right way, like everyone's had to do. And well, we just we hear the warnings from folks like Christopher Ray saying ISIS is working with the cartels. I mean, there's there's clearly uh, red flashing lights, Jen, um, even if there's talking points that people talk about. I mean, perception is reality. And that video we just saw was reality. There was a stampede of people who overwhelmed the border in El Paso. And voters are going to see that no matter what Biden tries to sell. No? Well, I'm not suggesting that this is good for President Biden. I mean, these are isolated incidents that certainly made for good political talking points if that's all you show. It's a complicated situation. The president's doing the best he can under difficult circumstances. And these people that are arriving here by airplanes are coming in through some authorization, through the, the method they've utilized with the app and things of that nature. So wow. certainly uh, it, it's a problem, but it's one that we're going to have to deal with and there will be a Eight. solution to it. Almost 8 million people under Biden have come in illegally. I'm not so sure it's isolated when we've hit that record number, but I certainly appreciate the conversation, and we know it will continue this election season. Uh, Jen and Eric, please uh, come back soon, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, coming up a conversation.